So, y'all remember Backrooms level you cheated, right? The video that blew up my channel a while ago. It's got hundreds of found footages about it, all that stuff. And you also probably remember level press start and level game over, right? I'm sure you do if you're a fan of the channel. Well, we just discovered that all of these levels are connected, like, like physically connected. And that connection is even more dangerous than we ever knew or could imagine. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining the conglomeration of Backrooms levels that's now known as the game. And I'll be going over the new lore, the new findings, and all the new creatures and weird spaces that we found while exploring level you cheated and the rest of those levels. So sit back, prepare to get scared out of your mind, and let's get into the video, shall we? So, the game is the name that's been given to a collection of six sublevels in the back rooms. Those sublevels are Press Start, The Stage, Game Paused, You Cheated, Game Over, and You Win. Now, I've gone over most of these on the channel in depth in their own video, but I'm going to be going over them in this video as well, so I'm not going to be like that YouTuber that makes you go watch a different video. I'm not like that, okay? There is specific new information about all the levels in this video, and you can skip to the timestamp of each one if you want to see a specific one of them, but we're going to get into it right now. The game has been classified as a Class 3 difficulty overall, but that also includes the ending sublevel, which is a Class 0, so it's really Class 4 or 5, let's be real. Anyways, it's one huge level composed of the ones I just talked about. They're arranged in a sort of game that the wanderers that get sent here are forced to participate in. They have to. And at the end of this game, there's supposedly a safe haven type level that can be accessed. More on that later though. The game can be accessed itself by finding a poster that looks like this, scattered throughout the back rooms. No one knows who puts these posters up or how they get there, but in order to get here, you have to follow the directions on one of these posters. And if you want to get to that safe level at the end, you have to complete the game. The game itself has been regarded as some kind of rite of passage recently, a thing that people in the backrooms will do as a last ditch effort to find peace, find a level that they won't get attacked in, find a home. Since, you know, the backrooms are so terrifying, they want to get to this game, want to beat it, and they want to get to the end. But in order for you to understand what the game is, and how you yourself can beat it, let's get into it. The game starts in a place called Press Start. Like I said, I went over this before, but the level itself is an area that's around 400 square feet in size. There are no visible doors or windows or other lighting here, and the entire room is painted a very dark shade of purplish black with its signature black light and glow-in-the-dark shapes on the walls, on the floors, and the ceilings. Think of like an old arcade or laser tag arena. This part of the level also has that carpet that you'd see in like an old movie theater or arcade. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the very center of this level is where the stuff begins, because there is an arcade machine, just one of them, with the words press start on top. The appearance of the machine can change based on who's here, just know it's an arcade machine. When you walk up to it, it'll boot up, and it'll start a booting sequence that's kind of like a terms of service. You can either accept or deny, which you should probably accept, and the message on the screen reads as follows. I may not know exactly why you're here, but I can think of a few reasons. Perhaps you've been screwed over in some way, and you're looking for a second chance to get your life together. Maybe that you've come here to seek fortune, unlike what's ever been witnessed by humankind before. Or perhaps, you may just be participating for the thrill, and you love a good challenge whenever you find one. What matters is that you have found one of the flyers that I have scattered about the back rooms and have taken up my offer. Ahead of you is a grueling game that will test your skill, your wit, and every last thing that you have ever learned. Do not take the upcoming challenge lightly or play foul, as those that do will face harsh consequences. Only the most worthy will make their way to the end of this game and obtain the prize that I have chosen to offer. For those of you who are ready to play, good luck. You're gonna need it. So yeah, a pretty foreboding, ominous letter there on the screen, but if you press accept, you'll be sent to the next sublevel and next part of the game, which is called the stage. Now the stage is a place that we didn't know existed. This is not an old thing, this is a brand new thing. This is actually what bridges together all of the sublevels in this game. The stage is a large area that takes the appearance of a maze. 
It seems to be around a mile in the perimeter. And each different person that comes here gets a specialized different maze shape. It's almost like the back rooms knows what wanderer is here, who comes here, and how to make the maze tailored specifically for them. The maze consists of very small, cramped hallways that typically have carpet on them. There are also arcade machines randomly placed in these hallways, which kind of clogs it up, but this is where the game itself takes place. And each wanderer, to complete the game, must go and complete a series of quizzes and find a series of tools and objects to help defeat entities that are swarming around this maze. Now, if you remember, we used to think this maze was a part of level you cheated, which isn't technically wrong since you cheated does have a maze, but this is a brand new maze. And this is its own thing. Like I said, it connects all the different sub-levels of the game. But now that we know that it's a connector between, you know, level press start and the rest, it's pretty cool, I gotta say. It's a pretty neat thing to find. Anyways, the center of this maze is where the Wanderer needs to get to. They have to go through these arcade machines, beating them, completing the challenges on the screen, finding tools and weapons on the ground, and then, you know, defeating the entities that are chasing and flooding these hallways. But at the very center is where a powerful entity known locally as the boss lives. And in order to truly get past the maze and complete this game, you have to get rid of the entity, you know, annihilate it, demolish it, whatever you want to do. And you have to do so by using the objects that you find in the maze. Now, if you're in this maze running around and you try to cheat, or if you try to break through a wall, or you try to exit through a door, the backrooms will consider this as cheating. And you know where cheaters go in the backrooms. I mean, a million of you do, but if you try to cheat, you'll be sent to level you cheated. However, if you do beat the entity at the center, you'll win the game and you'll be sent on to level you win. Now, level you cheated is a place that most of you, like I said, are familiar with. It's a detainment type zone in this game that you're playing. People get sent here for cheating and tampering and exploiting the game, and this is just a terrible place to be. You can only access level you cheated if the backrooms decides to send you here. So there's like no way you can come here purposely, which is kind of good. The area itself is a very small, featureless room with a slightly open door that leads right to darkness. Beyond that door is a very dangerous version of the maze from earlier, except there are more creatures in it, and the environment is more crumbly, and it's collapsing, and the entities are more aggressive and strange. A lot of the creatures here have never been seen before. It's overall just a weird space. It's like the game is punishing you for being a cheater, which it pretty much is, but if you survive level you cheated for an hour, you'll get a chance to find a token to get sent back to the game to start over. We both know that's probably not happening, though. I mean, seriously, it's, it's level you cheated, for goodness sakes. There's no way you beat it. But if you somehow do, you might get another chance. So I'm sure you're asking now, what happens if you do unalive while playing the game or in level you cheated or something like that? Well, you actually do get three chances at this game before you're sent to the next sub-level, which is game over. So if you do unalive three times somehow, which I guess you're just really bad at the back rooms if you do that, but if you do that, you'll be sent to Game Over, which is a series of abandoned concrete halls that lead to nowhere, with strange creatures walking around and hostile entities waiting to attack. The creatures that live here are just very strange, and the level itself is strange. There are random rooms that are placed in weird places, and there are bedrooms and offices that are abandoned. When you get to the level, after failing the game three times, You'll see the game creator entity standing out in front of you, which is these red and blue eyes. You've seen it before. That entity will determine if you tried hard enough in the game, and based off of their decision, the entity might grant you one more try at the game. But who knows? It's, it's up to them, and they're an entity, so I wouldn't trust them. This place is like a purgatory that can't be escaped. Level you cheated was like a jail sentence that can be escaped, but this place is forever. I mean, you're stuck here in this weird concrete loop because you unalived three times. Honestly, you probably kind of deserve it. If you, if you can't beat this in three times, you're just bad, honestly. I could do it the first try, of course. And lastly, of course, is the famed level you win. Now, this is the place that you get sent to if you complete the game and survive the maze without cheating and without unaliving three times. This place is like an 11 story building it's absolutely huge inside. It's got different floors for different things. There are supermarkets, offices, nightclubs, lobbies. It's completely safe as well. And it's pretty much the end of the back rooms in a way. You never have to leave. You can get your food and water here and you can interact with other wanderers who beat the game. 
could just chill forever in this building if you want to. The building itself was also in the middle of a green field. To me, that's pretty safe, I guess, but also I wouldn't want to do that because I'd rather just continue to explore this infinite you know, reality and not be stuck in a level. But you can do whatever you want to, I'm not going to judge. As I said earlier, the game is a conglomeration of all these levels that I've discussed today put together. Now, we originally didn't know that they were connected like this. We had a theory about it, but we didn't know until that maze, you know, the game place was located. After you press start on the arcade machine, he gets into that maze. Now we know it's all interwoven and all connected. Now, if you want to enter the game and try to get to the level you win, you have to find one of those posters advertising it in the back rooms and follow the directions on it. To exit, you can press decline on the press start machine if you don't want to do it again. You can try to cheat and get into the level you cheated and then make it out of there, or you can win and just win. But my favorite is that you can find a wooden door on the first floor of you win, and then there's a sign on it labeled goodbye, and if you go through that, you'll be sent to the hub level where you can go on to explore the back rooms. Honestly, that's probably what I do because I don't, I don't want to stay in one place forever. Anyways, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the game and all the updates from it and the other levels. Do you think you have what it takes? I think I could. I don't know about you. Thank you so much. Thank you for all you do. Love and appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you on any of my next channels, Brugly, Tugly, or Spookly. I'll see you in the next video on there. Peace and love.